Hello everyone and welcome to our channel where we talk about business automation software. Today we will compare two of the most popular bookkeeping softwares which is Zoho Books, Xero and QuickBooks. These softwares help large, medium and small businesses to manage their finances and in this video we will compare the features pros and cons and pricing of these softwares and make a conclusion which is the best one for which business. And before this video begins, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click the notification button so you don't miss any useful information that we share here. Let's start from the features, but we will talk about them very vaguely and generalized because all of the main features that any accounting and finance software should have, they all have. So Zoho Books, Xero and QuickBooks share the same set of basic features. So we'll talk about the features very vaguely again. So let's start from the QuickBooks. So a few of the many features QuickBooks Online offers are creating and sending professional invoices and estimates, organizing daily expenses, receiving overdue invoices notifications, tracking of payments and recordings of sales, customized tax rates for businesses, P&Ls and balance sheets. QuickBooks Online also allows businesses to provide access to their online accounts so that their accountants can collaborate over 20 financial reports and it integrates with over 80 partner apps. And now let's move on to the features of Zoho. So Zoho Books allows you to create, manage and edit sales and purchase transactions like invoices, estimates, PO, SO, credit notes, bills and expenses and more. You can connect your bank and credit card account in Zoho Books and categorize transactions instantly. The dashboard and report section give you the insights to make smart decisions instantly. Zoho Books streamlines business processes and you can create custom workflows to automate these processes. You can invite your customers to the client portal so they can make online payments and view all transactions as well. You can also invite more users and your financial advisor to Zoho Books. Create a custom role and invite these users with restrictions to specific modules if you desire. The last one will be Xero. So Xero is an online accounting software suite that utilizes a modern cloud network to fully accommodate the complete range of accounting needs. The app allows its users to coordinate and manage all financial processes within an easy-to-use platform accessible from all internet-enabled devices. This software is ideal for small business owners managing their accounts independently as well as in collaboration with their accountants from dispersed locations. And now let's talk about the pricing of these softwares. I will start from the fact that the cheapest one is Zoho and it also has a free version that includes a thousand invoices that you can send in the free, absolutely free version. And that is a huge advantage of Zoho Books. So as you can see, Zoho, except for the absolutely free pricing plan, offers a wide range of different paid plans. The cheapest one starts from $15 per organization per month and it includes three users and the most expensive one costs 240 dollars so as you can see zoho offers different pricing plans for different types and sizes of organizations and there are also some additional paid on features that you can add to your pricing plan and now let's talk about the pricing of xero so Xero doesn't offer an absolutely free pricing plan, but the cheapest one starts from $12 per month, which is obviously quite affordable pricing plan. And the most expensive one costs $65 per month. The last one in pricing comparison will be QuickBooks. As you can see, QuickBooks offers four different pricing plans. The cheapest one includes one user and starts from $25 per month, but the good thing about QuickBooks is that they often have different promotions, like now they have 50% off. And the most expensive price plan for QuickBooks will be $150 per month, that includes up to 25 users. Now let's move on to the pros and cons of each software. Obviously, there's no perfect app for finance and accounting management existing on this planet. So each of the programs has its advantages and disadvantages. So let's talk about it a bit more. 
So let's start from the pros of QuickBooks. It's easy to use and learn. It integrates well with other systems and is flexible with third-party applications, provides good accounting reports, has affordable price, easy to access from any device, phone, tablet, and computer, easy to find and fix errors and mistakes, and easy to look up customer information. And the cons of QuickBooks include lack of industry and business-specific features, such as lot tracking, e-commerce and barcode scanning, lack of key reports outside of accounting, instability and system crashes, lack of direct professional support, file size issues and limitations on number of transactions, limitations on the number of users, built with a small business mindset, data is not always backed up so you risk losing information, lacks invoice design tools, and it is easy to find a fix errors and mistakes which makes it easy for someone to manipulate your books. Now let's move on to Xero and its advantages. It offers a capable estimating quoting order process that tiles into error invoices smoothly, provides you with unlimited users, built-in payroll with automatic supernation payments. You can manage personal expenses with mobile review and approval of each receipt, easy access to the same files as your clients, clean interface which gives you instantly visibly for your financial position, and also real-time bank feeds and bank reconciliation. Now let's talk about the disadvantages of Xero. Although it's easy to install, it takes some time to learn how to use it. Recently increased its prices and no longer includes built-in payroll with its plans. Their acquisition purchase inventory site is very, very basic. Limited expense claims, projects, and multi-currency support to the most expensive plan. No built-in debtor chasing function, so businesses will need to manually follow up on unpaid invoices. Doesn't support exchange trade products, ETPs. Can be very slow if your company is running online or if it makes a high volume of sales through PayPal. And poor customer service. It takes time that can be met with unhelpful advisors. And the last software product is Zoho Books, and its advantages include depth and flexibility in every module, multiple sales and expense form types, excellent customizable reports, exceptional support options, integration with Sure Payroll, great mobile apps, ready-made integrations with other Zoho and third-party developer apps, custom portal for clients, and it is affordable for small and mid-sized businesses. And now let's move on to the cons of Zoho Books. The main disadvantage of Zoho Books is limited integrated payroll feature. It is available only in India and a few US states. No fixed asset management, transaction cap of 5000 and platform can be complicated for beginners to use and to learn. And now let's move on to conclusions. Obviously, all of the softwares are very, very nice and can help you to manage your finances much faster and much more efficient. But in my opinion, Zoho Books will suit the needs of businesses, especially small businesses, the best. First of all, if you're just getting into accounting software, you can try Zoho Books completely for free and use a free version that again consists a thousand invoices per year that you can send completely for free. Also, it is very easy to use because it has a lot of pre-designed templates for all of the different documents and it is user-friendly. So if you're just choosing a software to start from for your business, Zoho Books will be the perfect perfect option. And also a great advantage of Zoho Books is that it tries to fit into different tax system, for example, the US tax system and also the recent one was Zoho Books Mexico. So now it is completely customizable for the Mexico laws and, and Mexican tax system. And also Zoho now provides a discount for all of the Mexican business owners, minus 50% on the annual Zoho Books plan. So if you want to sign up for that discount, click the link down below in the description box. And it also provides the ability to scale your business. So you can start as a small business from this free version and then move on to the first paid plan and then while your business is growing you can change the pricing plans and add different features to this software so zoho books is the perfect software to start from 
and I think it will be also very good for medium-sized businesses because it has the best value for money for the medium-sized businesses. If you want to implement Zoho Books into your company, you can book a free 30-minute consultation with one of our experts by the link down below in the description box. And during this consultation, we will answer all of your questions, guide you through the Zoho Books software, and also help you understand if it will be suitable for your company. So make sure to click the link down below in the description box. Also, thank you for watching this video. I really hope it was helpful for you. Make sure to subscribe to this channel, click the notification button so you don't miss any useful information that we share here.